Welcome back to Domingo Live. En este segmento queremos platicar de algo muy importante que de un modo a otro, one way or another, it's affected lots of us here in the community throughout South Texas and, and of course around the world. It is Alzheimer's, dementia. It is uh, something that affects not only the elderly, but some that are not even close to being elderly and it could touch someone that you know if it hasn't already. I've got Martha Moreno, who is the co-chair of the Corpus Christi Walk to End Alzheimer's, and Gracie Cooley, committee member of the Corpus Christi Walk to End Alzheimer's. Thank you both for being here. Les agradecemos. Please, thank you for having us. This is such an important, important event here in Corpus Christi because mm -hmm. if you have someone in your life that you know that has Alzheimer's, and so many people here in South Texas do, the onset of dementia. We, mm -hmm. we, we tremble and we shake and we know, oh my goodness, we know what that means. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about this, this event. This is Alzheimer's Awareness Night at the CC Hooks. Um, who wants to be first? Well, I can talk about the Hooks Night. Yes, so let's it's talk about that. Um, Saturday, July 8th yeah. at 7.05. Okay. Uh, we are selling tickets online. Um, our poster has the QR code. If you scan that QR code, you'll be able to go to the uh, website. Um, tickets are fifteen dollars. Um, part of those sales go towards the Alzheimer's Association, which, of course, we're raising funds to um, find a cure for this disease. And so, the Hooks has uh, joined the Alzheimer's Association and agreed to send some of those uh, sales, ticket sales, to the association. Okay. Yes. Now we know that this is the benefit. We know that this mm -hmm. is where everyone here in South Texas who maybe has been touched in one way or another mm -hmm. or knows nothing about it, exactly. but wants to help because you never know. But let's talk about the incidence of Alzheimer's, of dementia, early onset dementia. What does all that mean? Early onset. Well, Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause, uh, death cause in the nation. The sixth Six. leading. Wow. Yes, yes. And more than six million people, six million people are living with the disease. Right That's now. a lot of people. That's a lot so, of people. Uh, and what is scary about this diagnosis is that it is happening to younger people as well, like in their 50s and mm -hmm. their 40s. So we advocate in the community, we fundraise so we can find a cure. We are having uh, baby steps with medicine, mm -hmm. but it is very costly. Yeah. So we have uh, a group called AIM, which is, uh, works with the legislature, Rudy, right. mm -hmm. in Washington, to get the medicines that are being introduced affordable for the community, for the key. person, for absolutely the person. Key. Absolutely mm -hmm. key, and, and, and we can do that through, first of all, outreach to our, our mm -hmm. elected leaders, but secondly, to get our community educated mm -hmm. about uh -huh. this issue, because there are folks, and I know that uh, I was one of them, you don't even think about it, mm -hmm. until yeah. someone in your family, someone that you know, mm -hmm. someone that you heard of, maybe a coworker mm -hmm. has a family member who's going through this. Okay. Um, it, it involves more people than we care to acknowledge right. or even know about. Uh, what are some of the other points that you would like to make? Alzheimer's is the most expensive disease in the United States. And you stop and think, we have cancer, we have heart, so many different diseases, Rudy, but Alzheimer's leads with it being the most costly. And I'm looking at those numbers, six in 10 caregivers were employed in the past year. These individuals worked uh, mm -hmm. an average of 35 hours per week. Well, care, caregiving, 80% of the caregivers went from full-time to part-time or cut back hours. 9% of caregivers gave up working entirely. 6% retired early. Why would you suppose that they would be retiring early? Well, they, they have to care the for care. their loved ones. Um, you know, that six million number that we know, those are the ones affected, those are the ones that are um, living with Alzheimer's, but that's not counting their children, their friends, their cousins, everyone around them that now has to do some part of 
caregiving, sure. minimal or major. And sure. so unfortunately, it does mean retiring. It does mean going part time for some. And so it is that dis that type of dis disease that affects almost they, everybody, sure. whether you have the disease mm -hmm. or not. And so I saw a recent uh, post on social media that someone put up there that said, okay, I'm giving up. I need help with my mom. Mm -hmm. um, and chances are the mom is a senior citizen. Mm -hmm. Chances are that person might have Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. And frankly, there is burnout among mm -hmm. the caregivers, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. the, the family members who have been there day in and day out handling this. Is there help for them? Uh, I, can, I can address the point, Rudy, that when you have an individual that has Alzheimer's or dementia, a lot of times, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with it? You know, you're faced with the unknown. There is an Alzheimer's 1-800 number. It's a 24-7 hotline. And I do want to share that with you. Okay. It's 1-800-272-3900. So if you're sitting home, you're a caregiver, and you're at a loss, what do I do with mom or Dia, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, what and resources you, that are out there? You can call that number, mm -hmm. and that number is a 24-7 number. So there's no need for you to stress as a caregiver and face it alone because you've got resources there. There is help out mm -hmm. there, and I'm going to say mm -hmm. this number a couple of mm -hmm. times, 800-272-3900, mm -hmm. 800-272-3900. The help is out there, the advice is out there. Someone who answers that phone is going to help guide you to the right place where you can get the okay. assistance that you need. Absolutely. Burnout has to be Absolutely. a big issue among caregivers, Absolutely. especially if they're dealing with, like, as you mentioned, your mom, your dad, your, your tia, your tio, someone, a brother, a sister. Okay. It, uh, yeah. it is devastating and yeah. can be, but there is the help out there. Mm -hmm. So right. this is all the reason more why folks need to get out there and be a part of this walk to end Alzheimer's happening November the 11th and we're way Better ahead of here mm -hmm. so you Better can plan stay. to be off that day uh -huh. Uh -huh. and and be a part of it it's happening out at Water's Edge Park right. que mas detalles what other information so that, well? that's what the committee does we year-long plan for this walk um, this year we really want to make it more of a family outing we want to have Maria we're gonna have mariachis out there uh, mm -hmm. we're trying to have fun events for children also uh, to make it less of a chore to have to do this because it is hard and it's sure also is. the coldest day uh, in Corpus. So it happens cool. to the fall. The last two years. Yes. yes. Super cold. It Super always cold. happens to fall on this day, but um, last year it was very uh, heartwarming to see the people out there fighting, you know, to raise the funds, to bring awareness, even in the cold. And so um, it's going to be a fun event. We're still in the middle of uh, planning. But we do want to encourage people to um, s register, uh, become a walker, build a team. Um, the website that you want to go to to register is at act.alz.org slash Corpus Christi. Um, and that is the website that you'll go to register as a walker or to um, create a team and get, get your people out there. One final question here. Mm -hmm. I'm interested about, yes. I gotta ask you about the button that you're wearing. Tell me the significance of the button. The significance of the button is I know what can happen to the family when Alzheimer's hits. And this is why I've been involved with the committee for over 10 years because my mom had the diagnosis and she was near and dear a smart, fierce, fierce lady. Mm -hmm. And so um, I do what I do to help the community and the families not go through what we went through. So there is help. We have to find a cure. Absolutely. Yes. That's the last word right there. Mm -hmm. We need to find a cure. Yes. God bless you both. Thank you Thank for coming. You. Thank, you. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. We'll be right back with more Domingo Live. Mas Musica is on the way. Stick around.